Hey everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood principal. <laughs> hey, uh, I had to send you a video. I do a video each year. This year's a little different. I get it. Um, I just wanted to reach out to you, and this video is going to be embedded in a longer email with a lot of with a lot of links to click. And I I do hope you check out all those hy hyperlinks. It's a bunch of different stuff that that I think you need to know. There's some some really important stuff in there as well. Um, what I do want to say is that I, I hope you've enjoyed the time that you've had to yourself. I'd like to say off, but I know that many of you are working, whether you're working a second job or whether that, that idea of how we're returning to school is living in your head. And so it's taking up space and you're thinking about that. So it's kind of difficult to get away. And, and not to mention all the restrictions that we've got on going anywhere. So um, it's been a difficult summer, much more difficult than normally anyway. So um, I just hope you did get some time to yourself because look, as of, as of tomorrow, um, we're a week out. You're going to be back here. So I wanted to touch base and, and let you know that you are in my thoughts. I miss you. And um, I hope to see you soon. And I hope for us to get back to as normal as possible as soon. So a couple of things about that, um, that whole normal piece. Look, um, if, if we wanted this to be easy, we would have just gone full remote. This is not easy um, for anybody involved. And, you know, teaching, um, you get to a spot in teaching where, yes, you continue to improve, but you, you get used to things. You get used to routines and so forth. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, but um, once that routine's taken away, it causes added stress um, and anxiety without the whole idea of a pandemic going on. So here are a couple things um, that I want to touch base with. Google Classroom. We are moving to Google, um, the Google Suite, so Google Meet, uh, Google Classroom, and things like that. You're going to find, once you get used to it um, and use it a little bit, you're going to find that it, it helps you be more organized and it's easier and more efficient. So who would I be to say that we need to do this and not do it myself? So please take the time in the email. I've created a Google Classroom for the faculty. So everybody on the faculty um, is going to be a student in my Google Classroom. And that's where we're going to post things and um, I'm going to get you information and so forth. So you'll get the feel um, from a student point of view as well how we're going as far as um, things come up. They go in the stream, but I'll also categorize them um, in materials and things like that. The next thing I really want to touch base quickly because it's a big thing that um, a lot of people are thinking about is what does teaching look like? Because we're going hybrid. So we have cohort A on Monday, Tuesday, cohort B on Thursday, Friday, all virtual Wednesday. The high school has taken a different step that is different from some other schools because we want to and we believe in the pillars for reopening. And one of those things is maximize in-person time with teachers. So we're proposing, and this is pending MOU um, ratification, obviously, but we're proposing streaming from the classrooms. Now, streaming will not be recorded. We're not going to jump on your stream to evaluate or anything like that because we want you to get comfortable with it first. And we've played around with it a little bit in the leadership team. So you're going to stream your class, so instruction is the same. Um, you don't have to repeat instruction or anything like that. I guess um, if you can hear the beeps on my email, it's going off. I guess I'm a pretty popular person right now. But we're looking at doing that, and we're looking at doing that with six periods a day that are static, that don't rotate. Um, you'll still teach five, and you'll have a prep, but you will not have a duty. So I know there are some concerns with that. That stuff's in a Q&A document that I've provided um, in the email or a link to the Q&A document. So be sure to check that out. I, I took a lot of the stuff that WHEA has been fielding, and... The things that stood out to me that needed to be specific for the high school, I adjusted those. So um, those are the big things I want to touch on right now. Uh, there's a survey in the email and so forth, but I'm not going to read the email to you. I'll leave that to you. Look, I know that there's anxiety about returning. I know that there's excitement about returning because we want to get back to our colleagues. We want to get back to seeing students. I mean, that's what we're in this for, right? So... Right now, there are more questions than answers. Um, I'll be the first to admit that. So please, any more questions that you have, send them my way. I'd be happy to answer them for you to the best of my ability. Other than that, take this last week, digest this stuff that I've asked you to digest. Um, 
and we'll get you in here. The first two days, don't worry about meeting as a staff or a district. We're not doing that this year. The first two days um, are trainings and you getting in your classroom so you can see the structure of your classrooms. You can set them up. Um, miss you. Can't wait to see you. And I hope you're doing well. Um, and if you're not, let me know how I can help. Have a great day.